Paul from Click and Turn here again for our weekly trudge through shavings and sawdust and all the other stuff that comes with wood turning. Today we're going to be turning something big. Well, big-ish. This is a rather huge lump of Iroco from a building site, I think. Anyway, time to recycle. <coughs> Well, I've marked up my centres, it's the same on both sides, funny enough, as it's a square block. So, um, this should be fun. Whew. Well, believe it or not, I can get 450 RPM out of this thing. It's not shaking the shed down. few splits and cracks appearing all over the place. So I'm just going to drop a bit of CA, see if we can turn past it. If not, it might all be for nothing. And that would be terrible. fairly round shape. Mm, it's a weird looking divot. Truly strange. Anyway, there we are. CA's holding up. Our Roco's looking good. So, let's think about a shape. I made an Iroco vase way back at the start of my YouTube videos. People loved it, uh, and I sold it. I was just wondering whether I should make another one, but maybe a bit more adventurous with a bit more pattern and a, a bit more, um, a bit thinner on the walls because it was quite a thick old piece. So um, yeah, let's give it a go. Right, let's do some shaping. I think. A tickle on the tormek is needed. Ta -da. All right, to seven fifty RPM. spot just here. I'm going to give it a bit of a whiz up with some 80 grit on my little turny what's it. Crikey. Yeah. 
Anyway, I need a tenon on this rather than a mortise. Purely on the grounds that I need a lot of chuck space to hold such a heavy beast. And if I, I haven't got much wall space there, and if I put a mortise in, then it will just push out. And although Iroco is really quite tough, I don't know if it's tough enough. So let's do that. Anyway, oh, got my mask on. Anyway, a bit of 180. Well, we have it mounted the right way round now. I've just trued it up a little bit. Still covered in sanding sealer. And by it, was this dusty? Too dusty. Too dusty by half. But anyway, it's on there now. We can do some more finishing on the outside and then we'll worry about the big hole in the bottom. Top. So Iroco is pretty waterproof, uh, otherwise they wouldn't use it in the construction industry. But if you're going to put flowers and things like that in it, we want to make it even more waterproof. So along comes a leftover glass vase from a previous project. It's 120mm wide, which is just going to fit in this. Uh, and it's just long enough to give us a decent base at the bottom as well. So that's that. I won't do a Mike Holton and throw it all over the floor and have to go and buy a new one. Nice one, Mike. Did watch it. <laughs> Funny, but heartbreaking at the same time. I know. Anyway, that's the way forward. Ah, here we are again. Another day, another dollar. Whoa! <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, we got it in the 100mm chucks which is holding nicely, uh, it's all nicely centred, got to do some uh, core, uh, hollowing out, So, um, but I thought before I do that I might put a little bit of patination at the top, uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet, <laughs> uh, it'll probably be beads because I hate doing beads and I need more practice, so anyway, I think that's the way forward. So I've sketched out the beads I'm going to do, it's in the shape of my old ring, squadron leader. <laughs> okay, why not? Forty to clean it up a little bit.
going to fill that with a little bit of the dust I've just made. Tiny little crack. Okay, well I've just given it a splo uh, a, a, a sploosh. I'm giving it a sploosh of sanding sealer. But I've just given it another rub down with the old sanding wheel. And, um, and then once I've done this, we'll get a, see about um, hollowing it out. I'm really not in command of my voice today. No, for no particular reason, other than other than anything. I don't know. That was the crack that I filled with some of the dust. It's almost gone. So that's good. <laughs> okay, Halloween time. Okay, well, I'm going to start off with a really small um, bit just to start making a hole. Because the best way to eat an elephant is a bit at a time. <coughs> okay. forcing a bit looks like uh, which is even more grabby so um, you can't wait Finally, we're at the bottom. Oh, good grief. Anyway, we're there now. And uh, I don't have 120 mil force in a bit because they're ridiculously expensive. So the rest of it will be by hand. So I've got to take off 20 mil by hand. That'll be fun, if a little time consuming. Anyway, that's how it goes. Let's crack on. So I've just made a mark with my dividers. Like that. That's a 120mm mark. As you can see it doesn't leave a lot at the top, but there's plenty down there. Things are getting a little bit messy because my uh, my tool isn't quite long enough to uh, 
So anyway, let's carry on. to the last inch and a half about 40 mil ish um, but I've run out of time today as I've got to go to the firing oils so I haven't got to I am going anyway so back to it probably next week see you in a little while all right here I am again back after five days of uh, parental care and couldn't even remember where I got to but here we are now we're still hollowing this baby out bizarre sounding rattle I'll come back in a minute well I've done it here's my latest invention it's a budget toilet cleaner cut off put under the drill and wrap some some 80 grit around it seems to make light work of sanding the inside nice look I'll give you a demo Anyway, during sanding, I noticed a dirty great crack in the bottom there. Nice. Just what I always wanted. So, I think I should be filling that up with some sawdust impregnated Gorilla Epoxy Glue. Why not? Here we go, see if my marksmanship skills are still with me. You probably can't see that because I'm trying to get my hands down there at the same time as keeping the camera clear for you. In this case, I don't think the bigger the blob the better the job because the bigger the blob means more sanding anyway I'll keep topping that up for a couple of minutes and uh, I'll bring you back when I'm somewhere near the spot anyway a little bit of fiddling around and letting the glue set and a little bit more sanding, I've got to do a bit more sanding yet but we can see that the hole in the bottom is sealed and coloured brown and kind of goes with the wood as well so all's good on that front just a little bit more sanding to go I'll do that off camera, I don't want to bore you too much well here we go again, a little bit of true grit good stuff this if you're not using it, you should think about using it or making some stuff like it. I know there's a few people out there who produce videos about some homebrew uh, sanding wax or gritty wax or whatever you want to call it. I believe Mike Holton has produced one which will be very nice. It looks like it does the job. Oh. Oh. Looks a million dollars. Just going to give the insides a bit of a spluce down with some uh, methylated spirits change the camera angle because because um, it wasn't very helpful where it was 
you may notice the outside's looking nice and shiny. Well, that's because I gave it a quick true gritting with some super fine. And that's how it come up. So I'm gonna true grit super fine the inside as well. Hello, that's the inside and the outside done. Um, all very spanky indeed. All I've got to do is get rid of the tenon now, so let me have a think about how I'm going to do that. Hmm. So, this wasn't my first choice, but it ended up being a stable choice. 500 RPM looks like that. It's nice and square, it's all trued and very little damage being done hopefully right let's get me a gouge out radio let's see how much of a crack is below the tenon hope it's not a big one ain't got much epoxy glue there Well, as you can see, there is a bit of a crack existing there, but thankfully I have four and a half tons of dust, which I'm just going to fill the hole with some dust from this um, Iroko, and then We'll drop a little bit of starbond in there. Come sa. For those who know Iroko, know it to be pretty hard. Anyway, I'll show you a little bit of sanding, but you know what it looks like. Um, so I need to pull the camera back a little bit. Stand by. Whew. I'm going to do some more off camera. I'll bring you back when I'm done. Well, here we are. I had to wash the vase, it was a bit dirty. And there it is. What do you think? Looks alright, doesn't it? Let's well, take there we are again, folks. Another project done. Don't look too bad, does it? I'm quite happy with that. Nice vase to put some flowers in, put it by your fireplace. Thanks again to everyone for watching. If you got to the end, then thank you very much again. Uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, want to see me carry on. Not, oh, I won't carry on if you don't, but you know, I guess that's just the way YouTube goes. But yeah, anyway, I had fun doing this, even though it was pretty widespread, but over time that is. Anyway, so thanks again, see you again soon.